Hello travelers and welcome to November 2018. Okay, <laughs> well, um, just off the bat, the next week uh, is going to be, astrologically speaking, very, very busy. Um, Mercury will be entering the sign of Sagittarius, but on, I want to say the 17th, he will retrograde. Venus has been retrograde in Scorpio, but has or will be moving into the sign of Libra, which it is one of uh, it rules that particular sign. It also co-rules Taurus. Uh, Uranus is in retrograde on May eighth. He moved out of Aries into the sign of Taurus. He only got up to three degrees Taurus, and then he turned around and he went back into the sign. I think he's at twenty nine degrees Aries right now. Then we have a new moon in Scorpio. Jupiter will be moving into Sagittarius, its ruling sign. It's been in Scorpio all uh, 2018. And then the North Nodes will change. We will go from North Node Leo, South Node Aquarius to North Node Cancer, South Node Capricorn. Um, website members, get in there and read those articles. Print out those charts. Print out those ebooks. Come join me over on Slack. You can send me uh, an email through the support desk letting me know that you want to join up. Um, I've got some people waiting for me to answer them about the Mercury and Sagittarius um, transit that's coming up. Um, I've been rather busy. I'm doing my pay what you want. You guys who have been participating are sending some of the best questions. Um, it has really been such a joy to read for you guys. The questions have been absolutely just some great questions. And um, for those of you who don't know what that is, um, it's a yearly event that I do where you make a donation and I will do a three card reading for you. It's a video format. Um, so you get to download and keep that video to watch as many times as you want. It is a one question. Um, this will be ending on Sunday uh, at midnight. Um, more than likely, if you didn't get the newsletter, you need to sign up for the newsletter. Um, Somebody signed up and then they unsigned up. And so, you know, I don't know what to tell you. If it's not coming fast enough, I don't know what to tell you. And you may have gotten the newsletter from me and it went to your spam folder. And so you didn't think to look there and you decided, well, it's not worth shit. So you, you unsubscribe. Whatever. Um, you can uh, probably type in um, Hidden Lotus Tarot. Um, and that's Hidden Lotus, one word, tarot, separate. And type in pay what you want or PWYW and that might bring up the uh, form for you the donation button so um, it is only through PayPal stripe does not have a donation system set up uh, they do but I have to do coding and I don't know coding and I ain't trying to do all of that so um, you can do that and again it's three questions I mean one question three cards um, video format and you know get in on this or don't get in on this I'm going to also offer gonna take a little break and then I'm gonna offer a one hour a special on the one hour reading not exactly sure when all of that information comes out of my newsletter so sign up or don't um, website members I will be through with the November general readings those will all be posted by I'm gonna say Saturday and then I'm gonna start on the romance okay so with that being said, and this busy, busy astrological time, um, we're just going to do a quick nine card reading. Uh, we're going to clarify uh, a bit with the La Vida Sibilas, and then I'm going to pull three regular playing cards. Um, this is something that I've been working on. They work really, really well. They just kind of cut to the damn chase. <laughs> Um, and all tarot decks and even oracle decks pretty much are based on regular playing cards. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding some incense. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, and then we're going to wrap up that reading with a um, angel answer card. So this is a general reading. Uh, the messages will not resonate with everyone. You can, you know, get a personal reading. Um, if you uh, don't want to do the web search, because I don't know if that's going to come up like that, you can go to the support desk ticket and I can email you back the link if you want to participate in that. But I do suggest that you sign up for the newsletter. That's, you know, the easiest way to, to keep up with what's happening 
um because i don't always announce what i'm doing on on um youtube so let's go ahead and put nine cards down god if i have to say so myself my incense smells divine so <laughs> Here we go. Nine cards. The Knight of Wands. There's our Sagittarian element. Um, traditionally, knights are um, interpreted as news and or messages. For me, it's always an event. Okay. There's the Two of Pentacles. And there's the Five of Swords. Well, some argument has transpired and it's of a financial nature. So I don't know if this is on the job or at home or at, there's this uh, water scene here. Okay, so by the beach, around water, by water, near water. Uh, this could be the idea of, of trying to move, but then suddenly something, it, it just kind of leaves the scene. Okay, sometimes the two of pinnacles can be the idea of working two jobs. Um, and finances trying to juggle your finances but this could also be that you're trying to to do lots of things you're trying to juggle a whole bunch of things two things mostly mainly um and you're kind of all a sea you're you're able to do it but you know how long can you sustain that well there's our uranus card and he is doing some stuff there's the fool here's our four of pentacles wow something else has come out of this fight something wholly unexpected that adds two more coins into the element you guys know when i read cards it's not always what's here it's what's not here right well there's the six of coins well isn't that something because that gives me three twos okay uh from the two of coins to the four that's two coins from the four of pentacles to the six is another two coins so something is kind of piling on, adding on. Uh, for some of you, this could be the idea that maybe suddenly you got to a, a rather safe place. That's what fours are about. And now you're in a position perhaps to do a bit more, but yet we still see there's an argument and a fight. So definitely this is some kind of argument over finances. There is the chariot card. Hmm. Now soon to come and these are both very fast moving energies i think in one respect this is speaking to me about the change of the north node and the death card holy smokes let's keep moving i mean keep look at that that is impressive that's impressive. I don't have any threes. I go a two, a four, a zero, a two, a four, a five, and a six, and a seven. This is 13. That's a four. Wow. Okay, what's underneath the deck? Well, there she is. Good old Venus. Now, <laughs> remember, she's in retrograde. Okay. Um, and uh, typically under a Venus retrograde, this is the idea. Maybe you're spending more money than you should or um, you, you purchase something and you get buyer's remorse. You find out it's not as beautiful as you thought it was or it really adds no value or has no value. Uh, you paid more for it than actually it was worth. Um, And she's asking you to look closely at these things. Now, I have, there's my three card, right? Now, what's interesting is I have this somewhat idea of threes here. So I am assuming that there's more than one person involved or that there is a third party in this. And the reason why I say that, there's three people in that five of swords. There's three people in this card. There are the three figures here. One person is dead, but there are three people. Okay, and oddly enough, this is, let's say, the Hierophant, 
who is also ruled by Venus. That's the co-ruler. Well, I think for some of you, um, right now, this may be a stable situation for some of you. And, and again, this is a financial situation. Things coming in rather slowly. And you finally get to a point where you um, are able to donate or share or give, you know, what you have. Okay? That's for some of you. This fight right here, this five of swords, and fives always speak to the idea of something outside of your control coming in. Okay? This could also be the idea of somebody who um, wants to be right at all costs. So are you fighting with the individual because you really do believe in whatever it is that you're standing up for? Or are you just being a pain in the butt simply because you want to be right? I do feel that this, whatever this fight is about, and it seems to be some kind of financial issues. And cancer rules, this is the card of cancer, this rules the home. Okay, the home, the homeland, mothers, children. This card is also about having and maintaining emotional control and not being pulled off into one direction or the other. Maintaining your focus and no matter how long it takes you to get where you're going, eventually you're going to get there. So I feel that for some of you, this fight comes out of the blue, unexpected. You see, he's not even looking at that. And what's so interesting is that this knight is looking in this direction in the past. This five of swords person is looking at something in the past. The fool is not paying attention to any damn thing. <laughs> and he's focused on somebody else. Okay. Um, and so I feel on the one hand that this comes out of the blue, but yet it also frees you up to move in another direction. That's what Uranus does. Uranus brings war, rebellion, chaos, fights, shocks, upheavals, uh, the tearing down of things. It's a tower card. The tearing down of things so that you can rebuild. Sometimes this is through foolish actions and foolish behaviors, and sometimes it just happens out of the blue. There's nothing you can do about it. So this fight kind of crops up. You don't even see it coming. You're focused on something else. But yet, whatever this thing is that's that's ending and we definitely see an ending here yeah the death card comes in to just cut it off completely once this death occurs you're able to move on you're going to get that news on okay now the empress is the planet uh she's the asteroid Ceres. Ceres was demoted she used to be not she wasn't considered she was a dwarf uh planet Okay, and then in 2000, I want to say 2004, she was upgraded when they knocked Pluto out. Remember, they, they said Pluto was no longer a planet, and then everybody had to, like, complain, and then they finally kicked him, put him back in. Well, there's Pluto. She was the mother-in-law of Pluto. Okay. And he kidnapped her daughter and took her away. Well, it took Jupiter to kind of solve this problem. So sometimes the Empress or Ceres or Venus, Venus is a fickle lover. She had children out of wedlock. Um, she basically was um, beautiful and she knew it. She used it to her advantage and she liked the good life, right? But then the question becomes, um, is the outside more important than the inside? What are your values worth? What are you willing to sell your soul for? What are you not willing to sell your soul for? Okay. And what kind of fight? Is this bringing up between you and somebody who obviously you think has control or may have control? Because the truth of the matter is, nobody can cheat death. All right? Um, eventually, death comes for us all. Right? So it is the natural ending of a process. Um, this, to me, shows a slow, focused ending. But definitely that the ending is coming. And once that ending comes... You are free to move forward here. But we have these two things going in different directions. Okay? These two knights. Now, this is an event. So I feel for some of you, this is something coming back around. See that? 
This could be the idea, because sometimes I've seen this card show up as a player card. You know what's not here? Cups. There are no cups here. So even though uh, there's this idea of a partnership or relationship, um, maybe this is in a business sense, a financial sense, um, either a third party or another situation has presented itself that has kind of, um, that offers you, it gives you kind of two choices, two options. But the bottom line is, is this is going to end in some way. Some of you may be trying to control this ending, which I don't know, you know, may work to your advantage and may not, but ultimately it's going to end no matter what. And I guess the bottom line would be that only you get to write the story. There's all these different kinds of uh, backgrounds here. There's the beach, there's the desert, there's the city. There are the banks of a river, there's a field, there's mountainous cliffs. So it's kind of, to me, it's saying to me that it's all over the place. <laughs> okay. Now what I can't do is I can't look at these three cards. And I can't look at these two court cards. There's definitely two people or two different types of messages. <coughs> but it all stems from this event. Something that either goes in the opposite direction quite quickly and quite suddenly. Okay. Or it comes back around. It is a Mercury retrograde. I think some of you don't want to move. You've gotten to a place now where everything seems to be okay. But then death says, hey, look. You know. You doesn't matter if you're waiting or you're stuck and sometimes that's the way the universe does it you've been pussyfooting around too long it will just simply come in and say okay that's enough of that now and we'll end situations this also tells me that whatever this chariot card is comes to an end as well this movement this remaining focused it's going to but when it does i don't know if you can see this see the sun coming up between the two towers there it's um light um it's rebirth it's a new day so to speak it's like you're in this also speaks to going on a trip look there's movement. This can be going on a trip. Something happening quite suddenly and you having to just maintain your focus and just to get there. I don't know if this is news of a death. I don't I don't think that it is. The end of a home or the end of a of a of a trip or a journey. I don't know. Let me take a look. I can only look at these cards here as they relate to these four major arcana cards. We're going to start with the with the two of pentacles. We're going to just write off. There's lots of coins here. So this is either the end of some kind of financial situation. Um, or it is the uh, end of the actual doing of something. Man, I've been doing this. Now it's time for me to rest. Now I can do this. Or it could be somebody else. I, you know, I don't know. Let's just see. This card speaks to flexibility. But then suddenly, out of the blue, we stop being flexible about it. Or maybe we reconsider. Uh, you know, I don't know. Okay, any five before or after implies that your energies are being scattered leading to undue stress and confusion slow down relax and think carefully about each step you take at this time allow things to flow as they will and have faith that's what this card says and maybe this is about somebody coming in to help you okay that's what that could be about 
and then accepting that help and just going along with it it's going to bring you to this place where whatever your situation is will be ending it may be slow it may be long because this it takes a long time to get where you're trying to go in a chariot right and that's going to free you up to set you on a new path sometimes I, that's what that knight of wands uh can represent i'm sorry yes the page of wands can represent let's take a look at this five of swords here to see if it can tell us anything uh oh stop that there we go to be some kind of health issue um, that you are not that has come back around why because you're under so much stress very well could be nothing about the um, five of swords next to any of these and it says that it indicates that any medical issues or concerns will have a favorable outcome that could be what that is um, let's look at this four of pentacles there's a lot of money here there's a lot of money in the doing of something okay that's what the coins represent that physical plane <clears throat> nothing about the four of pentacles let's go to the six of pentacles nothing about that so they don't want to tell me what this is about well here's what we're going to do the first thing I want to look at because to me this energy is moving this way there's a lot of backward movement here for some of you this could be triggered by this uh, by these retrogrades there's Uranus um, I forget what the five of swords it's something in Aquarius but I can't remember if it's Mars in Aquarius or Mercury in Aquarius I can't remember and you see that the, look at how the clouds are all are all zigzaggy so there's like some anger in the sky things are sharp thoughts sharp words being said that's what swords and it's the only swords card in the whole reading so let's take a look at this first. And somebody thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't have said that. See, two swords over the shoulder, one sword in the hand. Somebody else just giving up and walking away. I'm not even going to do that. Well, you know, sometimes that's what you have to do. <laughs> I mean, that's what that card is all about. Sometimes you do have to stand up and fight for what you believe in and what you feel is right and not care what anybody else says or thinks um, this energy is the um, energy of um, nurturing growth abundance and expansion but at the same time um, how do you get that in a harmonious fair balanced and diplomatic kind of way it's Venus the Empress Superbia, Dona Maritata, and the Militare. Well, this is the idea um, that maybe, now just maybe, because Superbia speaks to pride and hubris and vanity, um, having to do surrounding a woman with children, respect. So somebody, I think, being disrespectful to you if you are uh, a mother or uh, a woman with children or a nurturing profession, but also at the same time trying to just march on to continue maybe this is the idea that you're having to stand proud so that you can fight your way on up that hill right pride can be you know good and pride can be bad <laughs> right <clears throat> oh I'm not using those cards hold on <clears throat> Did 
could also be somebody showing you their true colors. Um, I was talking to my my daughter and uh, the little uh, her little friend who writes to school with us every morning, and I was telling them, you know, a lot of times, a lot of people don't realize uh, single dads. They, you know, have to put up with women who are just as butthead worthy as some men are. Um, and when it legally, um, the um, court will typically leave the kids with the parent, with the female, because she's considered, even still today, from some patriarchal uh, standpoint, to be the best person to care for the kids. But then sometimes you got the mamas that you is like, oh my God, why did you even, who, you know? And so then the dad's left to do to fight that out. So it, it could be one or the other. People don't give, I think, single dads their props. Uh, because if you're a single mom, you know what it's like. <laughs> You know, you know what it's like. So I want to look now at this. I want to look at this four of pentacles here in the center. Alegreta al cuore, the happiness of the heart. That's a three of cups. But somebody not budging. The lamica. The friend, the relationship of trust. Now that's an interesting, the confidant. And the dona de servicio. Now isn't that funny because remember I was saying to you, it's like you, you're kind of holding stuff down and then suddenly either somebody comes in to help you or maybe you have the ability to help someone else. But something changes this. <coughs> Death is not always a negative thing. You know, it's not. It's simply uh, the, a release state. It's a changing, a situation ending. Um, something ending because it has run its natural course. I'm going to look at this death card. Belvedere. Great foresight and planning. Dispiacere, the fear and the anxiety about whatever this thing is ending. Looking toward that. Okay, I'm, I might be upset about this. And the reunione, the meeting, or the coming back together. So, for some of you, there's lots of stories going on here, but what I'm, I'm getting is that some of you are looking ahead and realizing that and very worried about the ending of this meeting. Maybe that it won't take place. Maybe that it will end. Maybe maybe that uh, somebody comes in, this third party. Okay, we're still talking about these threes here, right? I'm going to look at the Six of Pentacles. That's what I want to look at. Because sometimes that card show up like the player card. <laughs> but Death says that no matter how it plays out, the situation will change. If you're leaving one relationship because somebody's been a player, uh, well, you can't find a new relationship, right? Until you get rid of the old relationship. Okay. For others of you who may be fearful, that fear is going to come to an end. And things will be, they may not be easy. You may, again, have to fight for it. But then the Empress card says, is it worth it? <laughs> Something you have to determine, right? Consolante sorpresa, a consolation. And eh, well, the help ain't exactly what I want. The il nemico. And the precious presence. It's not the kind of help you're looking for, but yet and still. It's help that's unselfish. Now, I don't know what that means for you. Okay? I don't know what that means. Um, maybe you're getting a little money, not as much money as you want. Maybe somebody's trying to run away from their obligations. This is about financial flow, charity, and give back. But it's also asking you to determine um, if you're giving more than you're receiving, why is that? And really, if that's the lesson that you're supposed to be learning here, okay? That's really worth its weight in gold. 
because obviously there's somebody working against you, right? And he's running away from the fact that um, things aren't the way he wants them to be. You know, I don't know how this is playing out. Let's take a look at these, uh, what this could be about. This is an interesting kind of a spread. There's a, mostly all of the readings that I've done thus far for the monthlies have been kind of like this. Um, where they're telling a really, really interesting story, but they're not giving me the full story. Okay. Obviously, there's something going on here with these. Look. It's almost like the cards are saying somebody's trying to run, but they can't hide. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Let's pull three cards on this. Definitely there's some kind of argument. Maybe the law has been called even. There's a nine of cups. There's the wish card. No matter what deck that you are using. The six of wands. And then the seven of wands. These are fire cards. <clears throat> it says seven of uh, nine of hearts. It says this is a card of wishes. A dream fulfilled. Um, and I guess what do you desire? Well, underneath here, this is what you're desiring. And maybe this is not just about a friendship, but it's about really having that trust and that solid connection with somebody. Right? But the Six of Clubs says... That there's financial aid and success. And the seven says, business success, although there may be problems with the opposite sex. It says a change in business that may have been expected or earned, such as a promotion. Remember I said there's fights here over money. And it's something that you've been working on, that you've been focused on and you've been doing it. Finally, you've reached it, you've gotten it, but now that may be threatening your relationship. Sometimes men get a little, I don't know, bent out of shape if you're making more money than them. Because sometimes this card is about a job interview. Okay? But then, what kind of a person... doesn't want the best for you huh right and if they can be thrown off because all right well I'm not making the kind of money and I can't bring in that kind of money but look he's running right directly into that so I think that this is the idea that if somebody has been or you've been fighting and the person not because there, maybe there have been some kind of scarcity money issues and you've been hanging on and waiting for something. Well, it says that this is about to come to an end, but that's going to bring up jealousy from your partner, whether you're same sex or heterosexual, whomever's going to take the role of the male. Um, and this does relax like male energy here. Because you going to be the empress. <laughs> okay. That's what that says. So, um, and so if this is somebody who is jealous or spiteful or weak will because you're bringing in more money or you're more successful, is that really worth, what is that worth to you? Huh? This is all, of, this is the ultimate, this is the archetype of femininity, of being a woman. And this is a woman who is the queen of agriculture. She's the goddess of agriculture. And she um, can plant seeds and it's very abundant and can grow things and she can give birth. Um, she can do a lot of good, 
okay but she can inspire jealousy that is venus venus inspires jealousy not only from other women but also from men her husband vulcan was very jealous of her this only because she was out doing shit she shouldn't have been doing it maybe that's the way the person feels maybe you shouldn't be doing that right so it's one of those types of things interesting reading um let's um some of you are going to decide enough is enough about that venus is in reverse okay in the sign of partnerships and legalities and sometimes this is knowing when enough's enough and walking away from something one question for the angel answer cards and this could even be jealousy from somebody that you work with maybe you want you got the promotion that that person wanted now they're trying to be a, a, a butthead about it opposite sex though this is what it's telling me so see that's why i love those playing cards i use those in uh sometimes i do in the conjure reading this is the only deck that i use and that just gets straight to the point of what's happening and where it's coming from and then I show you what to do about it. <laughs> and I want you to notice that not only is this card saying reconsider, she's holding her sword and her sword is pointed downward. Okay, this is a moment of reflection for you. Okay, because death is coming in to change this situation for you. And if you've been dealing with someone who's been... Uh, jealous of you or spiteful or whatever the case may be or you just kind of feel like they maybe they've been holding you back <laughs> reconsider let's take a look at that there is an element of your plan that should be re-evaluated yes uranus retrograde mercury retrograde venus retrograde no matter what's in retrograde the re in the word retrograde means to re re whatever reconsider reevaluate reassess revise rework okay re there is an element of your plan that should be reevaluated take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly share your intentions with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you objective feedback that could be that person in the center okay ask your angels for guidance this is not the moment to make the change in your life that you're considering a better time will come or you'll realize that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself and to me that is what that page of wands is all about so that's what i have for you i hope some of you will uh contact me through the support group about the pay what you want uh, and if not, you don't want to deal with that, you can um, sign up for the newsletter. And I'm going to be probably sending out that the pay what you want in Sunday. I always send out a weekly newsletter every Sunday. And that's going to be talking about the one hour special that's coming up. I haven't quite gotten the particulars yet or gotten the pages up and running. So that's what I have for you. Until next time, namaste.